When brackets are involved in solving a problem, it can sometimes look a bit confusing. But once you figure out a few strategies and practice with some problems, you'll be able to handle them easily. Let's do a couple of examples. Example 1. Solve 5 times x minus 1 equals 30. We notice that we have some brackets in this equation and we're told to solve the equation, which we can interpret as isolate our x. But x is in the brackets, so how are we supposed to deal with this? Well, our first goal should be, let's get rid of the brackets. And there's a couple ways to approach this. Let's look at both of them. Method 1. We can see that we're multiplying the whole left side by 5. So the opposite of multiplying by 5 is, well, dividing by 5. So we divide both sides by 5. And on the left, the 5's cancel out, which is what we wanted. And on the right, we have 30 divided by 5 is 6. So now we're left without the brackets as x minus 1 equals 6. Much easier to solve. And we add 1 to both sides, and we're left with x equals 7. The second method to get rid of the brackets is to use our distribution law. And we can recognize that the 5 impacts all of the items in the brackets. So we could just multiply it this way. 5 times x equals 5x, and 5 times negative 1 equals negative 5. And so we're left with 5x minus 5 is 30. Again, it looks nice and simple, no more brackets. In this case, we would add 5 to both sides, and we're left with 5x on the left and 35 on the right. And we divide both sides by 5, and we're left with x equals 7. Both methods agree, so it doesn't matter which method you chose. The first method keeps the numbers smaller, true, but it only works really nice if the numbers are all divisible. Therefore, method 2 is a little more commonly used. Let's try another. Example 2. 5 times x minus 4 equals 3x. Again, we have brackets. If we tried to divide the 5 out this time, we'd notice that 3 is not divisible by 5, so it won't work out that nice. Therefore, best to start with distribution. So, 5 times x is 5x, 5 times negative 4 is negative 20, and we still have the 3x on the right. To get the x by itself on the left here, we should get rid of the minus 20. So we'll do the opposite, add 20. And whatever we do to the left, we also do to the right to keep it legit. On the left, we have 5x. And on the right, we see that 3x and 20 are not like terms. So we can't bring them together. So we're stuck with 3x plus 20. We realize that we still have an x term on the right-hand side. And we want all the x terms on the left as we try to isolate. So we have to deal with this 3x, and it has no sign in front of it, so we know it's a positive. So the opposite of adding 3x is to subtract 3x. And whatever we do to one side, we do to the other. So on the left, we have 5x minus 3x, like terms this time, equals 2x. And on the right, we're just left with 20. So one more step to get the x by itself. We're currently multiplying the x by 2, so let's divide by 2 and do that to both sides. And we're left with x on the left and 20 divided by 2 equals 10 on the right. Our solution is x equals 10.